some of you might know I've built uh, 1200 uh, using uh, Raspberry Pi 4, Akira, and the software Pi Amiga. Now, I was using, I think it was 1.5, 1. 1 point something, and some games were running really weird. Like some of the games, they would stutter, some of the audio would be crackly, the likes of Alien Breed 3D2 wouldn't work, stuff like that. Now, what I've figured out is, although when you push F12, like this, and go to display, it says they're 1920 by 1080. Although it might be displaying that, it's not actually displaying that, it's actually displaying it at wherever your um, TV is at. So like, I use a 4K TV to uh, play my uh, Pi Mega, as I call it, which you've seen in another YouTube link, which we'll probably put in the description below, and there'll be a link for that, so you can see how it looks a couple of, about a year ago, probably, <laughs> by now. Anyway, the point is, even though it says they're 10, uh, at 1080p, it's not actually running at 1080p, it's running at 4K. Which sucks, because a Pi 4 can't run at 4K at a decent speed playing the Amiga. So I've been talking to other people and the likes of Amiga Bill and all that, and they've said they've had no problems with theirs. I thought today there must be something wrong with my version of the, the, the Pi Amiga. So I upgraded to 2.0 and I was still getting problems. I found a solution. So if you're using anything over 1080 uh, for display for your Raspberry Pi 4 playing an, a, a Pi Amiga version 2.0 or any of them, there's a simple way of fixing this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to do that just now. So the first thing you need to do is, um, if you move your mouse over to the top left, as you can see it's up at the top left now, if the mouse cursor looks like that, it means you're in 1080p mode. If your mouse cursor is smaller than that, you're actually in 4K mode. So that's the simple test of finding out what you're actually in. Although it says you're in full screen 1080, 1080p, you're not actually in 1080p, you're actually in 4K mode. And it's something that the actual uh, Pi Amiga, does, the Raspberry Pi 4 does before the uh, Pi Amiga software is actually started. When your Pi boots up, you'll see all your text go down the side of the screen. And what happens is it goes from a decent size down to a really small size. That's when it hits the 4K mode. And that's what it uses within Pi Amiga. So, the simple solution is, if you go down to quit, like so, you'll come out here. Now what you want to do is uh, type in uh, this one here, sudo raspi minus config. Once you've done that, you'll come into here. So what you want to do is go down to display options and then click on resolution. Now, resolution doesn't always show up. If you are having problems like this, and we're going to push and see what happens, it comes into this, right? What you need to do is you need to click on the, the, the resolution you're wanting. So at the moment, I've clicked on uh, the one selected just now, which is DMI, uh, I can't read that, mode 82, uh, 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz at 16.9. Now, if you click on that and it doesn't do that, uh, what will happen is you'll just come back to here. So what you need to do is you need to go down to display, click on it once, and before you click on resolution, it, you only have to do one simple thing, right? Pull out your HDMI cable. Make sure you've got your keyboard ready to be pushing on resolution. So if you pull out the HDMI cable, push the button. So I'm pushing it just now, as you can see. You won't see that because your HDMI cable won't be connected to the TV. When you plug in the HDMI cable back into the back of your uh, Raspberry Pi 4, this will be shown. Now when you click on um, the, 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 the mode I clicked, or in any mode you do want, your Raspberry Pi 4 will load up into that mode. Try to make sure though that when you're in uh, Pi Amiga that you've made sure it matches whatever you've chosen. Once you've done that, the Raspberry Pi actually works at a decent speed. So hopefully that'll help you uh, get through that kind of 4K problem of why are my games running slow? Why am I getting, uh, it sounds a bit like distortion in sound and stuff like that. And that's pretty much the reason for it. So I come out of here, now I am recording this with OBS, OBS seems to have problems with resolution switching so it might not go back on, if it doesn't, there'll be a cut. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, exit, or reboot, I'm going to reboot, and let's see what happens. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is when you go into resolution there might be an option to disable 4K, the first thing I did was I disabled the 4K and then I put it into 1080p mode, um, there's two different uh, menus for that. 
So just look out for that. Uh, but that should fix it. So like, what we do now is if we go up to here, right? And uh, let's do iGames. Let's load up Alien Breed 3D uh, 2. And uh, what will happen now is uh, when we load up uh, Alien Breed 3D 2, as you can see, it's running smooth now. Um, there might not be any sound. Uh, I'm not sure if there's sound just now because I haven't got my uh, PC um, displaying there let me hear the sound. But anyway, so as you can see, it's running smooth now. When I ran this to start with, when I installed uh, Pi Amiga, that was really slow and jittery and the sound was just completely nuts. So as you can see, if we go forward, this is loading in. One thing I've noticed as well is it sometimes loads faster when it's not in 4K mode. Like the actual Pi Amiga loads things faster. So what we'll do is we'll just click on that and in a second or two, here we are. And we push fire. And here we are. As you can see, we're running around. Now, I can't show you guys um, the 4K, how it looks in 4K because my Elgato doesn't do 4K. But it's just to show you that there is actually a solution for this and now you can actually play likes of uh, Alien Breed 3D2. So as I said, load up, make sure your Pi Amiga uh, in the, if you push F12, if you're using an external keyboard like I am, I've got my Pi Amiga with a proper A1200 keyboard, but um, to get into it I've got to have a secondary keyboard which is a wireless keyboard, I push F12, it goes into the menu as like this. So first thing to do is make sure that you're set, um, if you've got the version 2.0 it should be set to 1080p anyway, but as I said, if you, if you don't see that, if you don't see that, change it to that, you can even do 720 if you want. But let's like say, move your mouse all the way to the left, and if your cursor isn't big-ish, not as big as a PC cursor, but if it's if it's really not noticeable, you're in 4K mode. So what you need to do is quit sudo rasp, uh, rasp i minus config, go to the um, displays, turn off 4K mode if you can, and then what you need to do is go to the set resolution, pull out your HDMI from the back of your Raspberry Pi while it's on, uh, click the button to go into that resolution, put your Raspberry Pi HDMI back into the Raspberry Pi that is, and then change it to 1080p and when you reboot the games will run a lot faster and it won't be in 4K anymore, it'll be displaying at 1080p on your 4K, or, sorry, your 4K TV, uh, sorry, 1080p on a 4K TV and your games as you saw there run a lot faster. So I'm going to leave it there, uh, hopefully this helps, uh, if you've got any more comments, uh, if you know any more fixes, that you maybe want people to know, please write in the comments. Take care. Bye-bye.